a rover named Curiosity recorded 360-degree high-resolution images of its location on Mars in late 2019. The landscape view was stitched together from more than 1,000 images from the mast cam. Areas of clay-rich rock can be seen behind the rover, indicating that Mars had a watery environment in ancient time. The images used to build this panorama were recorded from November 24th to December 1st, 2019 between local noon and 2 p.m. to ensure constant illumination. Let's reminisce about those legendary events and relive the journey of Curiosity once again. I'm sure you've all heard of Curiosity. Designed by Boeing and Lockheed Martin engineers, the 899 kilograms Mars rover was launched from Earth on November 26, 2011 on an Atlas V541 rocket and landed at Gale Crater on August 5, 2012. In 2,694 Martian days, it traveled approximately 22 kilometers and sent about 700,000 photos. Curiosity's planned operational time is 23 Earth months. However, the brave Martian explorer has long exceeded that time frame due to its 3 kilobound radio isotope thermoelectric generator, or simply right -E. It works overtime and does not depend on solar energy like most other similar vehicles. By 2023, Curiosity had been on the Red Planet for almost 11 years. Compare the photos of a fresh-looking, ready-to-travel Mars rover in 2012 and an experienced road-dusted wanderer from 2020. Let's remind ourselves of the story of the long journey of the Mars Science Laboratory, very aptly named Curiosity. In 2012, the rover landed at the Gale Crater, named after Walter Gale, an amateur astronomer who observed Mars in the late 19th century and described the canals he was able to discern on its surface. The most important point of interest and target for Curiosity was the center of the giant crater, or rather the peak protruding from its center, called Mount Sharp, or otherwise Aeolis Mons. Getting the rover to Mars was a very difficult task, let alone getting it to the top of a mountain. The route was extremely risky, but thanks to photos of the rover itself, as well as orbital imagery, experts managed to create a 3D map of the area. An optimal route was found with several points of interest to be visited along the way. The first such point was the lowlands of the Yellowknife Bay. The surface here was once filled with sedimentary rocks brought in by water flows from the rim of the Gale Crater. This created an environment favorable to microbial life that almost certainly existed here in the distant past. The rocky outcrop of the Point Lake was the boundary between the Yellowknife Bay and the Parump Hills. This small outcrop is about a meter high, but even this height could have been a significant problem for curiosity. The originally chosen direction seemed to be too steep. It was therefore decided to send the Mars rover along a more convenient route. Curiosity went higher. It ends up in the Parump Hills at the very base of the Mount Sharp. Next is the amazing landscape of the Kimberley Formation. The rocks that have been captured in this area confirm that the crater had fairly large amounts of water. Here the rover finds itself near the protruding mineral veins of the Garden City. Photographs of this geologic formation are of great importance to science as they vividly demonstrate vein faulting in narrow and even deep faults. The Whale Rock is a prime textbook geology example of cross-bedding of rock layers, also known as cross-layering. 
This phenomenon represents layering within a layer and at an angle to the main bedding plane. As a result, sedimentary structures are roughly horizontal units composed of inclined layers. Only water and air currents can have this effect on the rock. Welcome to the next point on the route, the Bagnol Dunes. The landscape here is strikingly different from what we have seen before. You can say that it becomes truly extraterrestrial. The Namib Dune, which is about four meters high, stands out. These images capture the sand dunes for the first time outside of the Earth's deserts. Despite the incredible beauty of these places, the sands are dangerous. Here it was difficult for curiosity not to repeat the sad fate of the previous rover, the Spirit rover. In May 2009, it got stuck in a sand trap and couldn't get out. The last connection between Spirit and Earth was March 22, 2010. Having overcome all the dangers, Curiosity's path lies through the rocky plateau of the Murray Buttes. It was there that the Martian traveler congratulated himself on his fourth birthday by singing a famous Happy Birthday to You song. Naturally, the congratulations were joined by all NASA employees who are sincerely worried about their ward. Finally, our rover descends the plateau and returns to the Bagnol Dunes, facing the small hill of the Ogunquit Beach. And there it is, drum roll. Curiosity is at the bottom of the Mount Sharp. This place is called the Vera Rubin Ridge. The unusual geology of these places was shaped by wind. At the top of the elevation is a view of the entire path the rover has already traveled. At a place called the Glen Teve Curiosity, allowed itself a break and took selfies. All speculation about the presence of water on Mars fell away when the rover found itself in the Teal Ridge neighborhood. Even the uninitiated in mineralogy can immediately recognize that the soil here is dried ancient clay. By 2023, Curiosity's journey continues. In addition to our old friend Curiosity, in June 2020, NASA launched a new Mars rover called Perseverance. The newcomer touched the Mars surface in February 2021. One of the main tasks of this rover is to detect possible signs of life and storing samples for their possible delivery back to Earth by future expeditions. In addition, scientists plan to use the rover as a platform to study the conditions for building a habitable base on the surface of Mars. What do you think about these Mars rovers? Will their mission end successfully? Write your opinions in the comments and don't forget to give us thumbs up. Your opinion about the video is very important to make our content better.